Thank you, No Massachusetts. From the city's nickname, Good old Boston is Bean Town. To its reputation, Taxachusetts? Yeah. It's a state with a severe identity crisis. And the most half baked belief about Boston? Bean Town? Yeah. We're, What's that? We don't know. Bean Town. I don't know what we were having the idea. Bean Town. That's not my name. That's not my name. That universal moniker used by out of towners and despised by real Bostonians. Do you ever call Boston Bean Town? Never. It's clear that someone's not from here if they call it Bean Town. Never seen anywhere that makes beans anywhere? Any sort of bean factory? The origin of Boston's Bean Town name dates back to colonial times when the locals used to bake leftover beans with molasses. Apparently there uh, wasn't much to eat in colonial times. Everyone ate baked beans. They sure don't eat baked beans now. Another thing people always think about Boston, the streets are so confusing because they were built on what? <laughs> Old cow paths, right? That's very true. Wrong. That's not my name. It's, it's a wonderful, entertaining fable. It makes me laugh. It makes the visitors smile. And you've also probably heard Massachusetts is the bluest state in the nation, filled with raging Obama-loving Democrats. Well, while we do have an all-Democratic elected lineup, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Hawaii all elected Barack Obama by bigger margins than Massachusetts. In fact, the number of Democrats in Massachusetts is declining now at just 37% of registered voters. But don't worry, Democrats, Republicans are down to 11%. And how about... Taxachusetts. Could even Taxachusetts be a myth, too? Well, while it's true the governor just signed another tax increase, Massachusetts actually ranks as the seventh highest tax state and the state's income tax burden ranks just 23rd. If you like taxes, uh, you should move to New Jersey. Then there's the most venerated battle site in Massachusetts, Bunker Hill. That's not my name. That's not my name. Sorry, another myth. Even most school kids know it was fought on Breed's Hill. Well, Bunker Hill Monuments on Breed's Hill. I mean, what do you want? I mean, uh, I didn't do that. Somebody else did it. <laughs> we can't blame that on you. I can blame for enough things around here. <laughs> and anyway, Bunker Hill sounds better. Can you imagine lawmakers ever getting a day off for Breed's Hill Day? Why don't you change the name back? Well, no, I got, enough, I got enough issues right now. Another big myth about Boston. They call it America's walking city. And it's true, you can walk. You just might get killed doing it. In fact, it's just a Chamber of Commerce slogan to lure tourists here. A better name, America's run for your life city, because that's what you have to do to cross the street. Are we really America's walking city? I think we're very, uh, we are a walking city, no question about it. People love to walk around Boston. But if Boston's so great to walk around, that's not my name. why does the mayor always take his car? Joe Battenfeld, Fox 25 News.